So we've talked about gravitational potential energy, so energy to an object's height. We've talked about kinetic energy, which is energy due to an object's motion. So if it has speed, it has energy. And now I want to talk about elastic energy. So energy due to something being either stretched or compressed. So elastic potential energy, we use little e for the word elastic. So it's capital E for energy, little e for elastic. It's the energy stored in an object that has stretched, compressed, bent, or twisted. So when we're dealing with elastic energy, it doesn't matter if we're stretching it or compressing a spring in, that's considered elastic. So we have this formula, EE is equal to 1 half K, which is the spring constant, times X. And X is actually how much it's either been stretched or compressed, squared. So let's try an example. So it says... A 42 kilogram teenager, so I know my mass is 42 kilograms, balances briefly on a pogo stick, causing the spring in the stick to compress downward by 0.18 meters. So that's my X, my compression. Determine the elastic potential energy of the teenager. So I'm looking for EE. Well, I know from the formula that EE is equal to 1 half KX squared. I have the X, but I don't have my K. So the first thing I need to do is actually calculate my K. So what's causing the spring or the pogo stick to compress is actually the teenager's weight. Okay, so it's the force of gravity is equal to that elastic force. And we know the elastic force is just KX. So the force of gravity is what's causing the compression. So they're the same. So we know that mg is equal to kx. I'm trying to get kx all by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides, sorry, k by itself. So divide both sides by x. Kx cancels out. So k is equal to mg divided by x. All right. We uh, put our numbers in. So it'll be 42 times 9.8 divided by 0.18, and I get 2,287 newtons per meter. Now that we know what our K value is, we can actually use this formula here, really simple formula, to calculate what EE is. So let's do that. So I know the elastic energy is equal to 1 half Kx squared, so it'd be one half K, we just calculated that, is 2,287. X is 0.18 squared. Biggest mistake students make, they forget to square it. When you put all that into your calculator, you get 37 joules. So elastic energy is measured in joules, and actually all energies, are, all energies and work are always measured in joules.